So let's take a look at the little combination that we put together today. And then we broke it down actually backwards, building from the end of it back to the beginning. So let's see what it looks like forward facing just one time through. And then you'll see the breakdown and then the entire thing all the way through from behind. Moving with the opposite foot of the hip that is twisting. 
So the way that that traveling sequence looked, and then tagging the rest of what we'd already done onto it, we're going forward with our cross step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're turning with our hip circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're backing up with our Turkish step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going right into our inverted Mayas here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going into our big circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Rolling up, one, two, chest circles, three, four, five, six, rolling down, seven, eight. And that only left one part to go into the front of that. And that was where we did that kind of shorter, abbreviated grapevine. So if I was doing a grapevine for like an eight count, I might step across, out, back, out, across, out, back, and out. But we had a very abbreviated time. We were just taking the first four, and actually the four count itself, we were just kind of getting ourselves into place. So we're going across, out, back, be ready. And the thing that we're being ready for is those hip circles that are just one-sided. So then we were taking our hip up in the front, across, the top, down in the back, and around the bottom for two full circles. So two circles there, that foot is still free, and then we're going to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So our entire combination that we just kept repeating looks like this all the way through with counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 And then we just repeated it as many times as we could to the music we were using, which was a very repetitive song, the Bag Baghdad Groove. So let's see what it looks like when we repeat it to that music over and over, just to get those different moves into our uh, muscle memory. So you have some things in your mind of how some combinations can go together. Now, if we were doing it for a performance choreography, obviously we wouldn't just repeat it over and over, but that might be a combination that would take up a good space of that song, and then we would make adjustments in other places, and then maybe revisit it at the end so you have a little bit of symmetry to the dance. But let's see what it looks like to the music. 